Back in November, there was this viral tweet by a Twitter user, Wana's World, that said, Can we start a thread and post all of the white girls cosplaying as black women on Instagram? Let's air them out because this is alarming. The tweet got a lot of attention and people started a thread that showed before and after photos of social media influencers who have changed their appearance to look more urban. And one of the people shared was Alicia. 20 year old Aga Brzostowska, who also goes by the name Alicia, is Polish. Alicia moved to London from Poland so she could attend attend the University of Birmingham. She's curvy, dark, and she describes herself as olive skinned. She honestly looks either Greek or Middle Eastern to me, maybe even mixed race. Growing up, her weight would fluctuate quite a lot. Alicia went from being very chubby to being very skinny. Since then, she's tried to keep in shape, which is why her body is curvy. A photo of Alicia from when she was 13 went viral because it clearly shows a much thinner, whiter Alicia. She's been accused of blackfishing, which is a play on catfishing, where someone who is white poses as black or mixed race on social media. People have accused Alicia of darkening her skin and also getting lip fillers to look more black. Alicia's haters say that she's quote, reaping the benefits without standing up for the rights of ethnic minorities. One of the posts they're referring to is a sponsored post where Alicia had cornrows, which is a hairstyle most associated with black culture. Alicia says that she got the braids done because she was supporting her friend's little sister's business. Let me start off with braids, one of the main things. So everyone assumed that I had got braids because one, it was a sponsored post which everyone was mad at because they thought I didn't understand the culture and I just got it because I'm an influencer and that's what influencers do, they just get, you know, promotions, la di da 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 No. I got braids because I was supporting my friend's little sister's business. So I'm saying why couldn't I just screenshot and put on my story? It's not the same thing. Like, once someone sees a product on the person they are fo they are following, they can not only ask you questions personally about how it was, how the service was, so I could answer answer about it and give my honest review. It's just just different, and I don't feel like I need to go into more detail about it. It's self explanatory. It wasn't done because I sat there thinking, how can I get black? I didn't sit in my room thinking, oh my god. Da -da 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 -da. Let me just get braids. It just makes sense. More black guys are gonna like me. That's that was not my my thought process behind it. So let's let's get rid of braids. That's what. And about her skin tone, Alicia says that she's naturally dark, but she also uses fake tanner. She goes to the gym to make her thighs look bigger, and she also says that her lips are not surgically enhanced, and she can't afford surgery in the first place. Surgery. I X-ray my butt so you guys can see there. It's real. Another thing I want to touch up on is tanning. I've never been pale in my life. I've been olive skin toned. I'm not denying the fact that I tan, but what is wrong with tanning? White people can tan and there is nothing wrong with tanning. I don't think. Yeah, I love you guys all. Bye. So.